The community game jam is over and was hugely enjoyed by the community. Over 1000 games were submitted and once again I asked you to send me in your submissions to play. Playing through over 100 games took quite a while, but now I'm happy to present you my top 10 favorite games from the community game jam. Before digging into the best of the best, I introduce a new category to you. As much as it is very valuable to point out the most successful games, it's easy for new developers to get overshadowed by them. To counteract this and to give new talented persons room on the stage, I pick three outstanding games from first time developers. Starting with Bullet Lies. In this galactical bullet hell shooter, the bullets are playing tricks on you. Sometimes they do damage, but other times they will reverse or heal. Thus you will have to react fast to the changing bullets in order to reach the highest score. Trust Me is another game coming from a first time jammer. It comes packed with everything a great platformer needs to offer. Besides good controls, it has great audio and its effects amped up the quality. There are many levels to play through, peaking in a boss fight in the end. Staying in the platformer genre we have the game with 8 levels. Just like in the previous entry, we have a chat with the game itself, but here things more focused on the puzzle side. As the game only wants us to play the first three levels, we uncover other ways to get into the hidden content of the game. The minimalistic art style serves its purpose and the dialogue and level design is where the game excels at. This closes our round for the first time of submissions. That said, let's get right into the best of the best. Kicking off the top 10 list is nothing to see here. In this game our goal is to hide the wrong operations happening in our supposed to be bakery. So we try to lower the toxicity level of a newly owned business, as well as the publicity surrounding it. For if one of them is getting out of hand, would mark you end as wealthy baker. The four mini games included are fun to play and the well made retro art style helps it to stick out from the crowd. It already makes up for a well rounded experience and I'd like to see more mini games added. Embedding the theme in its story is Follow the Truth. Here you find yourself in the skin of Elijah, a hairy boy who got expelled by his village for lying. With our only hope being to reach the far away emerald land, you venture out for a free life. Soon Elijah finds himself being blocked off by obstacles, which you solve in a puzzly fashion similar to puzzles from the Zelda series. While already having compelling gameplay, the game adds on top with its charming characters and hand-drawn art style. For all adventurers seeking the truth, this will be a great pick. Also offering a great mix of gameplay and story is Harry Jummy. Playing as Jummy, the protagonist of a candy themed endless runner, we quickly run into places that are certainly not the candy land we are used to be in. You start to plan an escape from the game, but to fulfill it you first will need to take care of the puzzles put in your way. The game always puts you in the right atmosphere and keeps you interested with many questions about the places you are exploring. Coming in at the number 7 spot we have Operation Dinner Guest. You are invited to a dinner party, but instead of enjoying the served food, you are busy finding the disguised murderer that is taking one life after the other. After every murder some witnesses will be able to tell you some information about the killer. It just seems so that the witnesses themselves don't value their own lives, as they will always lie to you. Thus you collect information about who is not the murderer. The pressure is on and the only question is, how many lives will you be able to save? Putting a great emphasis on storytelling is the next submission, Gambler's Justice. Being inspired by 19th anime like Lupin the Third, you step into the shoes of Huey, an undercover police officer. 
You are tasked with arresting the casino owner Henry Klings for cheating on his guests. After the mission briefing we get into the casino and sit down one to one with our target for a game of poker. Now it is your turn to find the evidence necessary to arrest Klings. The story gets told through well written dialogue and is accommodated by nice sceneries as well as beautifully composed music. Also containing a lot of luck is our fifth spot, Big Money Machine. Instead of settling for a game of poker, you try your luck at the one armed bandit. Unfortunately for you, the slot machine is lying to you and tries to keep the great fortune from you. So you come up with other ways to play the tricks back. The time is well spent and surprises are sure to be found. Involving a rather different machine is our next entry, Last Code. Suiting the theme, our main equipment of a machinery is a lie detector. The catch is that it's apparently not working as it's used to be. The police should have even used the incorrect outcomes to frame innocence. Your job now is to make sure everything is going the right way. Or so do you think. The game is short lived but therefore makes up with multiple endings. Stepping onto the podium at third place is Card Lock. You, a Card Lock apprentice, find out about the evil plans of your master. The journey you are undertaken will not be easy though, as your master used his magic to break your perception of reality. So you have to be careful when visiting places, fighting monsters and use items, for one card could well be another in your hand. This entry made its place through the phenomenal design and interactions with the cards. Having a likewise wrong sense of reality is the silver medal holder, Mirror Mirror. You are put in a portal-like scenario, passing from one test chamber to the next. The doors leading to the next room are hidden from your view and you will only be able to find them by looking through the mirror. In it you can see how the room truthfully looks. As you progress more difficult puzzles will await you to be solved. With having played over 100 submissions, there is not enough time to cover them all, but the ones that barely passed the top 10 are included in our honorable mentions. Who is who puts your logical skills to the test. See who tells the truth and who is lying. Freelancer Sim is a humorous take on the freelancer dream life. Quickly things will not turn out as you had imagined. Liar Band is a rhythm themed game with the notes lying to you. Night Mirage uniquely interpreted the theme. The game is visually lying to you with its distorted field of view. Common pursuit raises the question of what we long for in life, or at least what society thinks it is. This game gem saw a lot of platformer games focused around something lying to the player, either the level itself or through a narrator of some kind. Which is reasonable as this type of game is great for keeping things simple and making sure to finish a game in time. With so many games in a similar vein it was hard to stick out but a number one candidate certainly did. Instructor offers this experience on a really high level. With good platforming controls, branching story paths and a hilarious written voiceover. That's it, I'm done with you. You don't want to listen to me, then you can't play my game. It engages you to play through it multiple times and to discover new ways to obey or disobey the game. And let me tell you there are plenty of ways to do so. But no spoilers here, just give it a go for yourself. That concludes our list for the best games from the community game jam. 
Shout out to all the amazing people organizing the jam and to you, the community, for putting the time and effort in to create those amazing submissions. If you don't want to miss out the next chance to get your game shown here, you can subscribe on YouTube or follow my newly set up Twitter account, where I will inform you about new jams coming up. Feel free to share the video with a friend and try the mentioned games for yourself. And until next time, take care.